Okay, here's what I know. Yes. I know that it's a social networking attempt, and yes. I know that they got in a little trouble on privacy issues and had to scale back. Google Buzz is a new way to share updates, photos, videos, and more. It's built right into Gmail and uses the friends you've already made. What does it do and what can it do that nobody else can do or can it? When you compare it to Twitter, it doesn't have the limitation of 140 characters, which some people may like and other people may not like because it allows people to ramble on a little bit. The other thing that it does is it, it's instantly active with millions of users, um, whereas these other sites had to, had to really build uh, that user base. But what, what is the promise of it? Why do you need another one? Well, that's the big question, right? You know, I mean, uh, Google has definitely wants to get into this space. But the problem is when it comes to the social networking, there isn't really anyone that's big that's for sale. You've got Facebook with 400 million mm -hmm. users, mm -hmm. not for sale. You've got Twitter with about 100 million users, and they're not for sale. So what Google did was they said, well, let's create our own service. Um, and I think that they kind of rushed it a little bit, and they, they ran into some pretty serious privacy concerns. Uh, there was an interesting blog post a woman wrote um, who had come out of a really bad relationship where her husband was, was beating her up. And she emails him because of, of certain legal issues. And she also emails her mother and her current husband. Um, and, and Google said, oh, here are the top 20 people you email. We're going to put them all in a group as friends. But they're not friends. It's so interesting to think that they sit in a room and don't think of these things when they're rolling out something this gigantic. Well, I think that part of the problem is, you know, working at Google, you you kind of live in a world where everyone has a, a, a master's degree and, and so on, and, and they don't really do things wrong, and they don't have problems to the certain <laughs> degree that a lot, of, a lot of the world does. And so I don't think they think about some of these things sometimes. Can you imagine yourself using it, and for what specifically? What what Would it eventually replace your Facebook site? What would you do? Well, I think one of the problems that's happened with Facebook is that is that you have multiple different groups of friends on there, right? So I have friends from high school, I have friends from work, I have I have family members, and sometimes these worlds collide. And, and I had an incident where I commented on the iPhone, and and somebody who I went to high school with commented with some vulgarity, and uh, one of my coworkers saw it, and it's and these worlds collide. And I think that maybe what Buzz could do is they could they could provide a a safe haven. For, for certain groups. What do you wish they would offer on it? What would absolutely make it necessary for you to use? Right now I have to think about where I go to update all these different statuses. So why, why can't they become a central hub for that? Why can't I update my, uh, my buzz and then it updates Twitter and Facebook accordingly in, in these different formats that make sense? And right now buzz is just an addition, whereas it could be maybe a central hub. Um, and I think that could really offer, uh, offer something interesting. The aggregator of you. The aggregator of you, exactly. And I think that that's needed at this point. Do you feel differently about your friends who write long emails? I, I hate email. I just can't. I know. But it's write like long things to you, period. Don't you change your opinion of them immediately? There should be a limit. I think there should be a 140 character limit, and then it, it you, you get charged right. or something like that. Or, it, or a, little, a little insignia comes up that says, boring. <laughs>